Hi everybody. Today I'm going to work on this 9 by 12 stretched canvas. It's from Hippie Crafters. And I'm going to work with acrylics and I'm just going to play and experiment and see what I can do that I end up liking or not liking or I'm just grabbing some colors here. Not sure what I want to use. I have blue gray, I have a turquoise, uh, olive green light, good old Payne's gray, uh, bleach, unbleached titanium. I also pulled out the quinacridone magenta, but I may not, I probably won't use that. So I'm just going to put some of each of these on my palette over here. In the unbleached titanium, I can mix some of that with any of these other colors that I pulled out just to make a lighter version. Or I can just mix it on the palette, or on the canvas rather. I think I'm just going to work with the blues first in this kind of tealy green color. I may may or may not use the that olivey green. Um, the, this canvas is double primed, I believe. Comes primed, so I'm not going to prime it. And I'm just going to start putting some color down here and there. I'm going to spray it with some water. And I'll probably speed this up. I mean, I'm just playing really not I don't have a plan I don't have a um, you know anything in my mind's eye as far as how I want it to look I'm really just going to kind of get color down and take some away and use a lot of water maybe to move it around and just see what happens and it may go through a lot of stages. You know, I may work on it over the course of a few days. I might work on it today and then not even touch it again for a month. But I just thought I would film it. I'm just trying to get some drips here. Turn it this way and you can see better. Getting messy. Messy's good sometimes. Sometimes messy makes pretty things. <laughs> and sometimes it doesn't, but... And I may get some of this to a point where it has to dry before I can go on. Because right now it's pretty wet just from spraying that. And I have, once I have enough paint down, and I'm just, I'm kind of you know, picking all the colors up on the same brush. I'm not even rinsing my brush. But what I wanted to try is I have these little natural bristle nail brushes. I'm just going to 
Let me move it around with this and see what I get. Okay, I think I'm just getting a little too wet. I kind of like the the nail brush, though. I like the effects that I'm getting with it. I'm just going to take a minute and dry this. Or a few minutes, probably. I keep that in frame for you. And you can see I put enough water on there so that it's kind of washing away some of the color and letting some of those underneath colors come through. And I might even just give it a little more texture with the rag. I'm going to just really encourage a lot of drips for this layer. So there will probably be a decent amount of drying time in between <laughs> layers here because we're getting really wet.
can you see the like <clears throat> sort of like the pitting in here that's kind of what I'm really hoping to get a lot of and I decided instead of using that lime green I am going to use a uh, yellow ochre actually a raw sienna which is close to yellow ochre a little bit darker more on the brown side I need a little more titanium on here now most of that got washed away I like this though I may just spray it and let it go off to the side or maybe we'll just go with the brush and soften those edges and move it around a little bit I'm going to dry that off a bit. Okay. <clears throat> we are mostly dry here. 95% dry. I think I'm going to try bringing in some of this yellow ochre. I'm going to start pretty wet. I'm going to get a different brush here. I'm it pretty soupy. Um, hmm. I'm just going to start with kind of small amorphous type shapes. I'm going to go back to my brush and go very slowly around the edges just to kind of diffuse the edges of that paint. And pull them out, pull them down. Okay, I'm liking that the way that went every kind of every which way and almost melted into the background a little bit. Except for this right here, I'm not crazy about that. It's gonna strengthen that a little bit. Okay, this is dry now. Um, I lost a little bit of footage. I didn't realize that my um, iPad was full and so it had shut off. But you saw most of it. I just ended with splattering some of the raw sienna over this. I added a little bit here in the center, but it's looking kind of dull. So I'm going to go back to uh, my turquoise color and kind of brighten up this middle section again. And then I just might take 
some of the unbleached titanium and just go right here above it. Maybe a little bit down here just for some added lightness. And back to the water again. Okay, I like that. That is better. I love this right here. That's really cool. So again, I want to keep that, so I'm going to dry it again. Okay, this is dry. I like this right here. I want to keep that. I like this, this. Um, it needs some depth, so since this is dry, I think I'm safe to um, add some dark, and if I don't end up liking it, I think I can probably wash it off. So I'm going to go with the Payne's Gray. Um, I don't think it needs a whole lot, but it does need some. Mm -hmm. Can you see how the darker just adds some depth that doesn't feel quite as flat anymore? You can always come back with the drips and splatters if it needs it. Like that, you see how it's drying there where it was real wet. It's kind of speckly. I really like that too. Speaking of that, I was wondering as I was waiting for this to dry if I wanted to put some alcohol into the wet paint. And I think I'm going to let me get my little bottle. I have some alcohol, 91% um, isopropyl in this needle bottle.
I don't know if that's too much. I'm going to wait and let it spread and see how I like it. Might like it. I think. I'm going to get rid of this one, I think. Let it fade out a little more. I'm not going to get rid of it because it's totally pushed that paint to the side. Let's add a little more hair back. Spray my brush with some water. And I'm going to lighten this area right there a bit. Right where it was light before. feel like now I've lost the turquoise. It's just kind of a dance, you guys. Back and forth, back and forth. I like the turquoise that's going on in the middle there. So I might just come back in at the edge somewhere, maybe over here. All right, it's dry time again. I like where it's at. I think it needs a little more uh, raw sienna. Bring the splatters back, maybe. And maybe then it'll be done. So, time to dry again. Okay, we're dry again. I'm going to add a little more raw sienna. Just going back where 
I had it before and just kind of strengthening it a little Yep. I think it's done. I mean, I could keep going. You can keep going and going and going, but it is at a point where I really like it, so I'm going to dry it. I think I'm going to just do one drip right there. It just kind of breaks the paint a little bit. It's You can see the turquoise coming through where the alcohol pushed the raw sienna away. What I do want to do though is add some more of those raw sienna drips, or not drips, but splatters. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it out to somebody else who might like it. If you aren't a subscriber, now would be a good time to subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. And ring my bell and you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. In the meantime, go make some art. Bye!